Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Kuya P. I'm here with a check. Point squad. I got Brian Saf. I got Webster style. We are here to do another infamous trailer <laughs> reaction today, y'all. Um, first up, um, actually, first up, not because I split these up. So, yeah, right now, this reaction, we're gonna check out Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Oh. Okay, okay. I, I, yeah, I'm not a big <laughs> anime cat, I never was really a big Dragon Ball cat. So, let's see if this grabs me. Uh, I'm curious if the, the get the checkpoint squad are gonna feel it. Let's get into it. Here we All go, right. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So is this a new series or is this a movie? I don't know. This okay. Because I, I started watching Dragon Ball Z Super somewhat and just fell off. Now see, just off the rip, like, what I'm seeing here, I like. Well, look, they, got, they brought the androids back. Well, outside of that, <laughs> I'm talking about just like the uh, the drawing style, like the animation yeah. of it. Because Dragon Ball Super, that was that's my Super biggest Hero like gripe with it. Like it does not feel animated and drawn in the same way that like Dragon Ball Z does and GT Dragon Ball. Like, I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, I just. Uh, I, I might get okay, country roll. canceled for this from the anime community. <laughs> right, you and me both. You and me uh, both. Dragon Ball just doesn't do it for me anymore. And, oh, and wow. no, that's fair. I, I got to put it this way. Okay, As so I, I okay. <laughs> I remember Dragon Ball when it came out of syndication. I think mm -hmm. I was like in high school. Mm -hmm. Look, Kitty is I don't know what. It was not something I was feeling. I heard about Dragon Ball Z when I was in high school and cats oh, were passing around with dub tapes. But this is before it came on American television proper. Okay. So it blew up when I was in undergrad slash I was in like my first year of grad school. So it was like mm -hmm. oh, 2000, 2001. And I got hooked because of the Cell Saga. So I watched the Cell Saga and all this stuff. So I wasn't even in it before. I think I had like one movie I got off eBay just because some anime. <laughs> so i've never been a huge dragon ball z fan mm -hmm. but then after z i watched gt mm -hmm. and gt was it was okay yes but didn't wow me yes. so i was like uh like dragon ball z i get it dragon ball i get it but dragon ball is just not like something that has that wows me now okay and with this it looks cool like if it's a movie i think it's awesome if this is a series i won't be watching it <laughs> all right so to clarify i just looked it up for y'all it okay. is a movie okay, okay cool, theaters cool. on june 11th this summer so oh okay, okay. Uh, coming that up looks awesome soon. then yeah that is something i'll go see <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean i'm still i don't know i'm taking my time with dragon ball z well super where it is now because that's where we're at we're on super like goku it's mm -hmm. He's not turning gold anymore. He's turning blue and white and all this other stuff. Like things have taken a turn. Uh, but overall, the Dragon Ball series, like you mentioned, the original Dragon Ball, it looked kind of kitty or whatever. But when you get into the story, you realize that just that's just the first arc of an overall series. Right. That's Goku as a kid, that's Krillin as a kid, that is Bulma as a kid. And then when we go into Dragon Ball Z. They're uh, not necessarily adults, but yeah, I guess they're like coming up out of teenage years and going into adulthood. And that's what Dragon Ball Z is kind of about. Like, the yes, we have um, Frieza and, you know, Cell and that whole mm -hmm. saga, those lengthy sagas. But it's also about their like coming of age. They grown into adults. Goku has children now. He's with Boma or. Vegeta's with Boma and um, Chi Chi is, <laughs> is the nagging mom who's just wants her kids to go to school, but Goku keeps taking them away to fight these crazy right. aliens and shit like that. So where we are now in the super franchise, everybody's an adult. Gohan has children of his own and okay. they are continuing to fight these aliens and people from these otherworldly planets super is more about space i'll say that though okay like understood understood yeah. I, I, my biggest problem with dragon ball so i would say i like the movies mm -hmm. um I, they're in and out dragon ball is just drawn out far too long for his own damn good yeah 
And I think that's because they didn't they didn't have plans for like an extension of it. Just the series got popular and they were like, you know what? Let's age the characters up and really turn it into something. Because well, I mean, Ball, in general, that's how they write it, though. Like they, they yeah. Dragon Ball. Look, Dragon Ball is like wrestling. It's a soap opera with action. No, I can't. Yeah. I love wrestling, and I can't nope, get into but, Dragon. But I'm saying I'm using it to like kind of equate the two. Like it's Dragon Ball is all about the drama and the interactions and the stories oh, with yeah. action in between to fuel that drama. So I say it's like a soap opera, much like wrestling. Wrestling is like a soap opera with action, but of course, it happens a lot faster. Dragon Ball, in in my opinion, mm-hmm. draws things out and has drawn things out on a serious level way too long yeah, and put a lot too of time long, much longer <laughs> than it needed to to tell the story effectively in my yeah. opinion which is why i am not into dragon ball like i was 20 years ago good yeah. god is weird to say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah but a movie dragon ball, to is definitely point, something i'll see oh yeah the movie i mean that trailer looks great yeah it looks like amazing. i said i really enjoy the animation style like super that's what's been killing me with super like I'm like, bro, I've seen people draw on, like, the internet. I've seen people draw better <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fights than what we're getting on Super. Like, the animation is just, it's not all the way there. And I don't I don't really appreciate that because Dragon Ball Z, that's, like, that was prime, like, animation style for the Dragon Ball series. But to your point, like, yes, the original, the original Dragon Ball is very lengthy, and I would liking it more to like the comedy mm-hmm. <laughs> arc of the entire dragon ball z series like it's a lot of childishness and kiddishness going on right. but it's that kind of kiddishness that's like from an adult's eye view or from an adult's perspective you could look at it and be like you know that was kind of like a little dirty joke there like what's going on but right i understand i don't know I, i've i've enjoyed the progression of the story just you know literally watch goku be born <laughs> on dragon ball and now he's like in space in a whole nother dimension fighting in some tournament of the gods and all kind of shit like that and then there was this weird transition in between where gt came out and the original writers of dragon ball was like we didn't want to take the story that way so they backtracked on GT and swerved around it. And GT's not canon anymore. Like, there's a lot going on with the series, but I like where it's progressed so far. And this movie looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, there you go, y'all. The, the checkpoint squad, I definitely feel it. I don't know. I'm still not feeling the Dragon Ball <laughs> style, man. You know, mad love. I'm happy for the people that want it. So there you go, man. Get yours, man. It, y'all deserve it. Um, so I don't know, unless somebody drag me to it or if it's on, I might watch it, but I, yeah. it's not, just the style never, a, never grab me. So <laughs> which is what fine. it is, you know, there's something for everybody. So exactly. True. And there's a, there's a big wave happening right now where anime movies are like doing crazy numbers. Yeah. Like, so it's so going to get its numbers. It's going to get yeah. it. Maybe so give I'm, us the numbers on this video and give these numbers and reach out to my boys and give us some follows right. so we can get up there and handle some Exactly. Things, right. <laughs> right. All right, build, y'all, man. Dragon Ball Super <laughs> Superhero drops June 2022. Uh, but before we get up out of here, like I said, give us some numbers. Follow my peeps. Uh, Webster Style, how can they reach out to you? You can find me everywhere, pretty much Instagram, Twitter at Webster Style, uh, TikTok underscore Webster Style, and of course, WebsterStyle.com. There you go. Brian Saf, how about you, brother? Same, you know, well, not your handles, but <laughs> I'm on Instagram, Twitter. And um, the TikToker, this is my at Brian Saf, and then it's the podcast. If you want to hear me talk more about whatever anime, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go, y'all. Show them some love, give them some follows, listen to what they have to say because they're probably going to talk more about Dragon Ball without me. I, <laughs> I don't know what's up, but uh, for me, if you don't want Dragon Ball talk, so you want to talk about other stuff, but also, world. you know, this squad, so they, they, I'll, I'll have them holler at you about Dragon Ball. Uh, for me, it's the legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok and IG, Show Pal Show, API Toy Heroes, and here at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world, Checkpoint Squad, Kuya P, we're out of here. Grab. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 